there. Today I am going to show you guys, um, I'm going to make some new lamps and I'm going to make them solar lamps. So I'll make these in here with me. So we're making, we're using these big brass lamps that were given to me by a friend. And um, I've already removed, I've already removed this, these parts from the lamp. And then I've also taken out all the electrical um, through the bottom. And so you just cut that, that cord um, and then remove, cut it from here and then you can pull it out the bottom and then remove these um, from the top. Because what I want to do is I picked up two of these solar lights from Menards and I'm going to remove this part and it's going to go on here so that it's a cute little solar cute little solar light for outside like a little lamp post but short um, so then you can put them up on a little pedestal by your back door or whatever you want to do I think it's going to look really cute so I am, and then I'm going to um, spray paint them this nice, pretty apple green or green apple um, from rust -oleum. So what I'm going to start with is by cleaning these up and then I'm going to sand them down a little bit, scuff them up so the paint will adhere well. Um, and then I'm going to take this apart. So there's a screw right down here, inside here, that comes off. And then you can remove the top of this. This glass part comes out so that everything can be painted and I'll mask, it's already masked off a little bit, but I'm gonna remove this um, piece right here and re-mask that nicely um, and so that I can paint the whole thing so it'll all be the green color. Um, and then I'll put it all back together. And then I just need to find a way to um, adhere this on the top of the lamp so that it's nice and even and it looks kind of seamless and we'll do the best we can. Okay, so that's what we're gonna do, so let's get started. Okay, you guys, so here we are in my craft room and I'm gonna start by cleaning these lamps. They're pretty dusty and so I'm using like a microfiber cloth and I'm just um, getting them all cleaned off, dusted. Once they're nice and clean, I'm going to take my sanding block and I am just going to scuff up this brass a little bit with the sanding block so that the paint will adhere better. That always helps. The sandy blocks are nice because they're kind of pliable a little bit and they bend a little bit so when you have these kind of surfaces that have a lot of bumps or ridges they're nice for working around that. Sandpaper would be would do the same thing but I just love working with the blocks better. definitely recommend these sandy blocks because they actually I mean I guess they're kind of expensive compared to regular sandpaper but for me they last a long time and I use them over and over again so I kind of feel like they're worth the money it up and kind of get the bottom there it's hard to get on the table and then I'm just going to dust the whole thing off again to get off the sanding grit and I did the other one as well but now I'm going to work on the solar light so I've removed the ground stake you can see that sitting there on the table and there's a screw at the bottom of the actual solar light that you need to remove 
We want to take away, take apart this thing so that we can get it painted. Um, and I'm going to paint the lamp and the solar light part all the same color. So I want to make sure that I, I have this taken apart. So I'm just trying to get this screw out. And once it comes loose, this little, I call it a triangle thing. <laughs> but it's for, I don't know, it helps with the solar light. I'm not exactly sure what it does. I'll have to research that. But everything comes apart and the glass um, in, that's inside the light comes out and now that part is ready for sanding. Um, I've already taken off that lid part or the top part. So now I'm peeling off the film that goes on top of that solar area. We want to get that off there. But I'm going to remask it so I can paint. The film doesn't cover it all the way. Uh, it would have been nice if that was just the perfect masking, but it wasn't. So I'm using some washi tape, which I know I, <laughs> I shouldn't use, but painter's tape works nicely as well. I just had this handy. And I don't use these some of these washi tapes very often, so I thought, oh, I'm just going to use it. So I'm just cutting some nice uh, straight lines so that I can make a nice square mask off this with this tape. Once I get it down just right so it covers everything, get it nice and, and uh, smoothed out, and then keep going all the way until I have that entire piece masked off. So I don't want any paint to go on there. And then of course I will do both lamps, both solar lights, but now they're ready for painting. There they are painted. And you can see that one little spot that we made the part with the 3D printer. Okay, so this is the five minute epoxy and we, I, we use JB Quick. There's a lot of different kinds that um, you can use, but you wanna put out um, both, from both tubes, equal parts and mix it together like we did. Um, this is Jeff mixing and I'm filming. <laughs> So now we are putting the epoxy into the light part on the bottom. And then we're also going to add it to the top of the lamp post. a wooden dowel stick thing that we got at, I don't know, Hobby Lobby or Walmart or something. Okay, so now we're putting it at the top of the lamp, right there on that threaded um, part from the lamp. And then this is just going to fit right on top. And it just turns it a little bit to kind of get that glue all <coughs> mixed in there. And there you have it. Aren't they cute? Once they're all dry, then they're done. And I just think they are so fun. And there they are at nighttime. And then at dusk, they're really nice too. So thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And please subscribe. See you later.